Nice. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's, uh, December the 20th. Yep, it sure is. 9.04 a.m., regular Mitchell's Court, Liberty County, Texas. And uh, let the record show that uh, Commissioner Whitmire, Commissioner Arthur, and Commissioner Kowalski are here. Commissioner Wilson is with us by way of Zoom. And uh, so we have a full quorum established. We do have business before the court this morning. <laughs> so since we have called the meeting to order. Let's get busy. Lee, if you would lead us in the pledges. Everybody rise. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please face the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And if y'all would pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. So we thank you for each and every day that we had the opportunities that you give us in life to get up in the morning and, and go about a day's work and life's work. And Lord, we hope that we everything that we do is uh, is in with your grace and with your wisdom, and you lead us this way. Lord, thank you for the gift that you gave us so many years ago the gift of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the reason for our season now and, and should be the reason for our season throughout the year. Lord, please be with folks that are sick and in need and folks that need, just need a hug and a helping hand. Again, this is a season for that as well. Thank you once again for all the wonderful blessings you give us each and every day, Lord. And your name we praise. Amen. 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 Uh, well. Any notices and proclamations this morning? What do we do? Okay. Any public comments? Nobody signed up this morning. All right. Any conflicts of interest this morning? Man, everybody's behaving too good. You know, <laughs> y'all all getting something good for Christmas, right? Is that it? That's the deal? Okay. All right. Let's move down to the uh, consent agenda. And we have some items on here y'all need to look at. If there's any questions, concerns? Discussion, or if you would like to move any item off the consent agenda to the regular agenda, we may do so. Any addition? No. No add ons today? You got any add ons? I don't have any. Uh -huh. Thank you. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Matthew. <coughs> yes, sir. Should we consider this item number seven of the consent agenda? Uh, that is just for notice to y'all, so that y'all can take formal notice of what occurred during the uh, elections commission meeting. Okay. Okay. So, motion from Bruce, second from Greg to approve. All of ever say aye. 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 Likewise, nay. No. That motion approves. Thank you, gentlemen. Regular agenda. We've got a whole bunch of bonds to uh, consider and approve. And I noticed on here that we're missing Greg Arthur. So we're going to do a bond on you this year? Yes. Okay, just checking. It, uh, anyway, it's uh, approve the bonds for elected officials for 2023, including Judge Moorfield, uh, Judge Chambers, uh, me, uh, Kim Harris, Matthew Poston, Stephen Hebert, uh, Jimmy Belt, Cody Parrish, Larry Wilburn, Wade Brown, and Richard Brown. I believe I got them all. And then we need to add Greg Arthur because it's and, and me and, and, you. Uh, and I think maybe the Jennifer. Okay. Jennifer. There might be a whole other batch. Yeah. We got a whole batch we're missing <laughs> out on, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Including say, me. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't miss that. It. Uh, no. no. Okay. We, there's a whole bunch of them. Just we're going to do a blanket coverage. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> the, uh, so the code says that you are to approve them, uh, you and your fat six county judge. Uh, so if the stragglers can have their submitted to you, I think for notice sake, we can probably put this on uh, the next agenda. Yeah. It might have been what happened. We just didn't get the bonds in from everybody else in a timely manner. Yeah. Well, and uh, I mean, the good news is, is my office is pulling in a lot of collections. Mm -hmm. The bad news is it makes my bond go up. So they had to up the amount of my bond this year. Or so but yeah. my understanding is Hall Ray is supposed to get that over to us, or it probably might even already be here. Yeah. All right. Make a motion to approve. A motion from Bruce. Okay. Saying from Greg to approve, and we'll get all the names in the blanks. <laughs> I'll never say aye. 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 Likewise, names. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number two, Commissioner Korbowski, <clears throat> consider approved temporary closure of County Road 486, better known as Hatcherville Road, until further notice for maintenance. Uh, We're going to come in and uh, spend about 150 to 200,000 in. The sub, we have to bow mag it in. That, that the traffic is bad on that road that we're having to shut the entire road down. I've already posted notice with the local newspapers, and we have signs out there. Okay, what was the date it's going to be closed? January the 9th. It's a temporary closure from January 9th until we get finished. That's any questions, concerns? Matthew, you okay? No, the, uh, the code just mentions that this is uh, comes under the authority of the full court. So I thought to, yeah. it'd be best to have a full court vote on it. Okay. All right. Entertain a motion. Wait, wait, wait. Is that you, Leon? Yeah, I'll make a motion we approve. All right. Th thank you. So, second. Leon made a motion and second for Greg. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, no. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number three, for Mr. Gott, consider an approved pay request for grant works pertaining to the CDBG grant 20-066-013-C095 housing buyout as follows. File ID Libco 76, Fortis Liberty Title LLC purchase price 76,000 plus estimated closing cost 5,000 total is not to exceed 81,000. This is just one with we're we're adding some more on here, Dwayne, pretty much from last week. Okay. Thank you, motion to approve. Second. Got a motion from Bruce, saying Leon, all in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thanks, gentlemen. Number four, uh, pretty much the same. This is for uh, Libco 109, uh, 65,000. Closing cost 5,000, total not to exceed 70,000. And a relocation incentive of uh, five thousand be paid closing. What's the court's pleasure? Make the motion we approve. Second. Yeah, motion from Leon, second from Greg. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Likewise, next. Motion. Uh, number five. Same thing. Uh, file ID is Libco dash one two two. Purchase price of $24,741.08, plus estimated closing cost of $5,000. So the total is not going to exceed $29,741.08, and there's a homeowner relocation incentive of $5,000 we paid at closing. What's well, the court's pleasure? We approve. Second. Okay. Got a motion from Greg, second from Bruce to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nays. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Number six, uh, Senator approved the interlocal agreement by and between the city of Dayton and Liberty County, Texas, for the purpose of conducting an audit of funds for the continued operation of the collection station located on County Road 489 in Dayton. Matthew, is there any targets we need to look at over here? Yes, I do have some. Uh, don't ask Max throwing or anything. <laughs> Uh, I do have some advice to the court. I asked if we can get an executive session on this. Okay. If you want to pull it. I would because we have, probably have three items that need to go into executive session. Yes, sir. So we'll pull uh, We will come back and revisit that. 
Okay, next one, number seven, consider approving an amendment their local agreement between Liberty County and City of Dayzetta for lease of office space at 410B Main Street in Dayzetta for use of courtroom by JP number two after January 2nd, 2023. You got the contract all worked up and everything looks good? We do. This okay. is no cost uh, uh, to us. So yeah. we're in Dayzetta. That we appreciate. That's nice. Most all right. Is this all the action? Right. Yeah. This is over the faction. No, 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 this is not the This is the right. use of the courtroom and the probably city hall. Better. Okay. Second. Okay, we got a motion from, I think that was David. Second. Right. Bruce. Okay. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, Brian, on this side, do we have, is this a lease? Uh, is it? No, they're just going to let us. Uh, Use the building uh, with no lease. It's just, just they already so, have a courtroom there. I'm sorry, Judge. Yes, just so that uh, the new JP can have hearings in the courtroom. I can't hear it. Just so that the new JP can have uh, hearings in their courtroom on a temporary basis until we get something more permanent. That's all. Okay, great, great. Okay. Well, that was number seven, number eight. Uh, from Mr. Poston County Attorney, consider and approve renewal of a, well, we're going to have to talk about this. <laughs> Radio tire lease at Ames for a monthly fee of $2,700 through <laughs> June the 30th of 2024. This rate will begin on 1 1 2023 and will be subject to an annual increase or 4% max, I guess, is what they're looking at. That's correct. Okay. So we're, we're trying to buy time until our radio tower at the new SO is complete, correct? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. And this old radio tower is going to have to suffice until we can do better. That's right. Correct. Okay. Billy can talk uh, a little bit more. Billy, you want to come up and give us a little bit of – maybe we'll come on up here so Leon can hear you because the microphone's right up here. <laughs> Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I hear you, Billy. Thank you. It, yes, sir. So basically, since the new tower has not, uh, the construction has not been completed at the, the new SO, uh, this lease is for the tower and some equipment that's on it. And it's uh, it's required for us to run it. So unfortunately, we're going to have to at least pay this for another year. Hopefully, we can have it our new tower up and running within the year. So it'll just be one year, hopefully. We've got to pay it. Yeah. Otherwise, we won't be able to communicate with yeah. anybody. Well, it was this power on... condemned? So, yes. So, when I talked to her two weeks ago, that was a question that I had. And I have not read the contract that we they sent over but as to what's going to happen to that. And the contract we're signing now, how easy is it for us to get out of it at the end of the year or when we get our power done? I, I haven't read it with, uh, with notice. Uh, it'll work. Yeah, I think it, let me look it up. Uh, I, I think it's uh, 60 days. I have a question about the second item on the agenda, which also is involved in this. We're also having to spend another 2000 Is that 2000 on top of the $2,700? Yeah, the tower is making it almost $5,000 a month. Yes, sir, and some equipment that's on it. We're paying now 27. So we're going to upgrade their tower that we're fixing to. With our equipment. Yeah, we're putting our equipment. our equipment. Yeah. And it's not, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Make a motion we approve. Yeah. I'm glad we don't have any charge. No. No, we leave that get no. two cans of string. Okay. A bunch of cans and strings. Okay. Got a motion from Bruce, second from Greg to approve. I'll say aye. Aye. Uh, Likewise, nice. that most curious. And number nine uh, was considered pre renewal radio tire lease for additional equipment at Ames Tower for monthly fee of 2000 through 630 2024. This rate will begin just like the other with an annual increase of 5%. But, uh, okay. most from Bruce, same from Greg to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, number 10 for Ms. Harris. Consider and approve health benefits continuation 
coverage services agreement between Blue Cross Blue Shield, Texas, and Liberty County for the administration of COBRA benefits. Yes, and sir. This is on uh, the last meeting of September. You all approved the move to Blue Cross Blue Shield tax, you know, version of Blue Cross Blue Shield for the COBRA administration. This is the contract. <coughs> I sent this over to Mr. Poston um, and he reviewed it. So I don't see any issues. Make a motion to approve. Okay. Motion Bruce. Need a second. Second. Second to Greg. All in favor say aye. <laughs> Likewise, next. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 11 from Mr. C. Here. Stephanie's here. Good. Okay. I couldn't see you through Kyle there. Okay. Consider an approved purchase of three vehicles through my board to be paid from Sheriff's Forfeiture Fund. Okay. Good approve. So I got the money. <laughs> motion from Greg, second from Bruce to approve. All favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nay. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Number 12 <coughs> for Mr. C, uh, Stephanie. Senator approved solicitation of bids for renovations at 1801 <laughs> Trinity Street. <coughs> That's the new little building over here that used to be the Chamber of Commerce building. And all we're looking for is consider approved solicitation of bids. Do we have any plans for this, Matthew, or what yes. we're wanting to do with it? And who else wanted this building? Yeah, the DA's office and I are uh, finalizing plans for this right now. But we've looked at this. Apparently, it's going to need a new roof. A new yeah, new roof, roof, one AC. I was yeah. over yesterday looking through the building. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I still didn't find no hot water here. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of it. So, yeah. okay. so this is just going out for bids. Solicitation. Yeah. Yeah. Make a motion to approve. Yeah, one for motion from David. Need a second? No second. Second from Sorry, Bruce. David. All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, next. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. We're 13 for Mr. C or Stephanie. Consider an approved solicitation of for a used track loader for road and bridge number one. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from David, second from Bruce to approve. All favor say aye. aye. Likewise, no. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 14. Uh, tell you where we started on this. Uh, consider to approve landscaping services in the new sheriff's department, JP3 buildings. We were out there about three or four weeks ago and didn't see any grass. I mean, nothing. And, you know, normally this time of year, we have some. Well, ryegrass, uh, probably bird's eye ryegrass planted, which grows about this tall. So Greg and I were looking at it and said, well, let's get something done. So we got price. We'll kind of find out. Um, Stephanie, I talked to you this morning, and and it was uh, seeded. It just takes a little while for the – It was some, just lack of water. Lack of water and – you know, of course, I was afraid the birds had flown in and flown off with all the seed. But again, if it was kind of a hydro type mulch, well, it was a different story. But I would suggest we take no action. Well, we'll take no action. Motion, Bruce. Same, Greg. Take no action. All favor say aye. Uh, Likewise, next. Thank y'all. Number 16, 15, excuse me. Uh, for Mr. C, consider an approved vehicle purchase with trade ins. For the CSCD. What are we swapping in? Um, they have three vehicles that they aren't utilizing, and they talked to CSCD about it, uh, trading vehicles in so that they <coughs> had the cost of the new vehicle that they would utilize more could be purchased. Um, we haven't found that vehicle yet on my board, but we would find it with a cooperative purchasing agreement. And so we just need approval to purchase it uh, and trade in these vehicles when we find them. So that if we find one next week, we can go ahead and do a purchase order and not lose the vehicle having to wait for this. Funds available for this? It's available through their CSCD funds. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second Dave to approve. All favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. And motion carries. 
is it starting to get a little bit easier to find vehicles, Stephanie, or are they still bogged down? About the same. That's safe. Well, well, as soon as they get on the lot, they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Number 16 uh, from Mr. Poston. Uh, Senator Tree Relations Commission's temporary suspension to pay Liberty County Election Administrator Clint Bush. And then B on this one. Consider an approved election commission's temporary appointment of Lee Chambers as acting Liberty County Administrator. Uh, we do need to ease off into executive session on this one, Matthew. That's correct. Okay, so I'm going to group it with the others, yes. <laughs> so to speak. Okay. Number 17, uh, Mr. Poston and Mr. Cardi and Chuck Kimbrough. Uh, discussion and potential action. Uh, pursuant to chapter, should be 381 of the Texas Local Government Code and other authorities regarding the following matters. Well, we're going to blow through this real quick. It's a road we're looking at doing some work on or getting the uh, property conveyed to the county. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm we need to go off into executive session, sure, but the other side of it is. I'm still not comfortable with this. Uh, Matthew, I don't think you are. Uh, I think you're, you're going to hear some advice from council on all this. Yeah. Let's, uh, so let's ease that one into executive session as well. Uh, we won't take any action this time. Okay. Motion will go into executive session on that item. That would be on item 6, 16 and the 17. 17, yeah. Second. Five and six. Yeah. Yeah, item number six, 16 and 17. Correct? We're good? All right. Uh, got a motion from Leon. Second. Second from Bruce. All favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, that is. motion carried. It is 926. Uh, Eleven forty. Is that six or eight? I got nine. Forty nine. <clears throat> Get over here. Write that down. We're back in regular <laughs> session. We had items number. Six, item number six to consider first. Um, what is the court's okay, pleasure there? That we have uh, authorized Matthew to renegotiate the contract. Second. You got a motion and a second. <clears throat> motion from Greg, second from Bruce for Matthew to renegotiate the contract with the city of Dayton. In the county, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 16. <clears throat> uh, a and B are two parts. A is considered an approved election commissioner's commission's temporary suspension with a Liberty County Election Administrator Clint Bush. And then B was considered an approved election commission's temporary appointment of Lee Chambers. As acting Liberty County Administrator. And what is the court's pleasure and does that? Make a motion to accept the recommendations of the EA board on A for 60 days. For 60 days and B take no action. Second. Motion for Bruce, Sable Greg. B and A and A was approved. All in favor say aye. Uh, right. Okay, I'm sorry. Bruce, you, you moved? Yes. I was typing. Bruce and Greg was the second? Yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. Likewise, thanks. That motion carries. Thank you, Jones. And number 17, the long winded one, but there it is. <clears throat> what uh, discussion of potential action concerning a 381 agreement? Uh, under Texas Local Government Code. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, the, I make a motion we take no action until we get the issues cleared up. So we just have to put authorization for me to give county attorney's office and our outside counsel to uh, confer with the applicant. That's what we're going to do in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it was, yeah. <laughs> that sound right, Leon? That's right. <laughs> okay. So you're going to continue to confer with the um, county? Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Trust me, while he's talking, I think he has a timer sitting there. But... Okay, we got a motion from Greg. And who made the second? I'm pretty sure David made the second. He looks like he's hungry and ready to go home. Okay, okay. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, May. Who's got the motion to adjourn? Greg made the second. All in favor say aye. All right. We... Bruce made the motion to adjourn.